Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Yes, we got another video. You know what we're going to be talking about. Father Time and uh, P. Willie, okay? P. Willie and Father Time, okay? Now, Porsche Porsche, you said that this guy was a billionaire. A millionaire. Somewhere in there, okay? See, that's what you said. That's why you with him. If I didn't say it, you don't be messing with no broke, broke, broke giggas, okay? Yet, we still don't know about Simon Gabbardi's network. We don't really know uh, where he comes, where he goes. He only shows us little stuff, and the stuff that he show us, he can keep it. But, you know, we're entertained. We're sitting in the bushes with our um, binoculars, or we're sitting on a bench, uh, watching him and doing living his uh, best life, as he called it. Now, all this is just going to be a hot mess. All of this is just allegedly. <laughs> but I see my Porsche Porsche. Oh, and that's when you had edges, girl. That's when you had edges. You say like you were kind of thin, but it's, it's a little better. You're trying to have, or you're reminiscing about babies? Why are you 40-something years old, or are you 41 now, girl? Let us just know. I get confused. I get confused. But the words on the street is saying that you want to have a baby by this man right here. You don't know what he do. You just out there for it. You just out there. Before the video ends, I'm going to give you eight reasons of why you should not have of another baby, okay? Especially with this man, aka Father Time, okay? Papa Smurf, and um, I'm probably gonna think of another name for him before, um, before another video. I'm pretty sure <laughs> because he's just uh, he's just doing too much, guys. He's just doing too much. He got Porsche smoking out the window. Yes, I, he got him smoking out the window because she don't know where she's coming, where she's going. She don't, even, she don't listen to nobody. Even Lauren said she don't listen. She's stubborn. And, you know, we just need to expose what we need to expose to Portia. Right? Put Portia on Front Street and continue to have our own Front Street until she fly right and act right. Okay? Because this is ridiculous out here. I'm sitting up here on reminiscing on PJ. Do you also remember Dennis cheated on you, according to you? And how you want to put it out there all the time you get a chance. You, know, you want to be messy in that direction. You know, your mother was there helping you, baby girl. You wasn't doing it all by yourself. At the time, you said you spent your, uh, your whole day in the bed because you were depressed. All right? So, what you think going to happen to you when you call yourself Mary and Simon, if you ever will, in September, I hear, um, when he don't act the way you act on, he's moving funny. Then you left with two children. You see what I'm saying? I'm like, you think Lauren going to help you out? She got one and she's content with that one, okay? You got one and you still trying to add on to the clan. And let's get into the reasons why I don't think you should be thinking about having another child. Maybe because you're a child like yourself, Porsche. And that's a bad, that's a bad denomination to be trying to add to, okay? Um... Uh, Bad idea to want a baby with Simon. We're going to say number one, we're worried about the inheritance. Continue to definitely sell your products. Sell your pamper Porsche sheets. Continue with that go naked hair. Hopefully the reviews will stay positive as it is shown here on screen. Uh, and what else do you do? Oh, hell, I don't know. But you might need to hook up with Candy and see can she give you a clue on to what to do and not to do. Some business stuff you may want to run past her. Because I see you post on your Instagram page saying, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. That's what you were saying to Candy, okay? Yeah, it's her birthday May 17th and I couldn't believe it. I was like, what? 
That's my mama's birthday. All right, them cars are nothing to play with. When they get mad, ooh, child, run. That's all thing I can say. Run and don't look back. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, you posted that on your social media account about, I guess you kind of say you're supporting of her birthday. But did you go hang out with her? Did you buy her a gift? Did you send her a card through the mail, honey? What, what is it? Or is this your only way, your cheap way, your inexpensive way of saying happy birthday, girl? Get a clue, get a clue, get a clue, okay? Going back to the reasons why I don't think you should have a baby. Uh, you don't have any jobs, Portia, with Simon G. You don't have any jobs. You're depending on him to financially support you. We know how that went because you tried to do the same shit with Cardell Stewart. And look what that left you. Just the two homeless. You said it so, you said it so yourself in your book. Okay? You were paying, trying to get Peter to pay Paul at the time. Your uh, check hadn't come in from the Real Housewives of Atlanta uh, just yet. So you can put your mama, you, and the rest of your family in this big old Duluth house that you had, girl. Because your mama had lost her house through some infractions with business dealings, bad business dealings she was going through. And you, nobody had nowhere to stay. You said y'all had to stay in a nice hotel for a couple of weeks, all right? So we know you know everything and anything about being destitute poor, all right, poor. So I'm like, girl, step your pussy up, how they say in the LGBT community. Give it to them. Give it to them, honey. Uh, stop sashaying and parlaying over here, Portia. Stop sashaying and parlaying. Because we don't know how Simon is getting his money. And I doubt you know. All right? He might be gambling out there. He might be in some type of racket. We don't know and you don't know. Your mama told them ain't asking no questions. But she's trying to be one of his groupies. All right, but let's go back. Let's go back. The bad idea to want a baby by father time. His inheritance portion. It would be a very direct problem because he got three ex wives and he got four children. But hell of you and PJ. And we're not even counting y'all. But he got four children to take care of. And I think two of them are uh, special needs. And that comes with another whole uh, bank account that you have to watch out and, and, and have. So if anything goes wrong with them, the funds will be there as far as their health is concerned. You see what I'm saying? And um, if you had a baby by him, Portia, where would that child be in line? That child would be last in line to even probably see a dime or two when he is gone. Okay? You said, it, cause he don't, I don't even really know if he's planning for their future. I would hope so since he's a billionaire. But you know, some billionaires out there, not of our color, or ethnicity, they said they ain't even their children nothing. They'll give their children an education or whatever field they want to be professionals in, and they got to make their own million. Cha, cha, cha. I think Anderson Cooper mom was like that. Gloria Vanderbilt. <laughs> cha, they don't know nothing about passing down stuff. But some, the majority of them do, but some was just like, I had to get mine, so I'm gonna make sure you're very well educated. I'm gonna make sure you have everything you need to succeed. Other than that, you ain't getting, I ain't leaving you nothing. I'm leaving everything to the state. I'm leaving everything to this charity I love. Blase, blase. That's rich folk thinking. I, I can't get with it. I can't get with it. But anyway, the second reason why you should not be trying to have a baby with, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm right rich prince with Simon G. He's too old to parent. He don't have time for no newborn because he likes to drink, he likes to smoke, he loves the club lounge type scene, he likes to travel, he likes to be around the water, and you like it the same. Y'all jet setters, remember y'all here on this continent, here in this state, here in this country, y'all everywhere and nowhere at the same damn time. You see what I'm saying? So how you, you barely could love PJ around from the little excursions that y'all have, you know, partaken of and put on social media. So we can live vicariously through you all, okay? But baby, stop it. You need Jesus more than you need a baby, okay? You need Jesus in my prince voice, all right? And then the third reason is, who gonna babysit? Your mom, Diane? Uh-uh. She got her eyes set on Simon, allegedly. She's trying to be his mistress behind your back. She's trying to get them, them funds behind your back. Okay, but everything that's in the dark shall come to the light for us. Everything shall come to the light, girlfriend. But you ain't got no babysitter. You ain't got no babysitter, child. 
And that's some more funds going out your pocket that can be saved for you and PJ. If you just hold on. But, you know, it just is what it is, honey. But the number four reason would be, do you really know Simon and his comments and goings? Do you really know him, Portia? Have you vetted him? Have you researched him out? Have you done your due diligence? Well, I can pretty much say no on all accounts. <laughs> no on all accounts, baby. But you, no, you ain't done your research. You're just living in the moment. Living in the moment. You, your mama, and your grandmama. Three generations count. PJ, four generations of messiness, Okay. Number five reason, do you really know about his business and his business dealings? See what I'm saying? You keep talking about he have a business, but yet we don't see him. He said he took uh, his group of employees out to top golf, to you know, kick around a little uh, golf balls and this, that, and the third as an outing for his employees. Yet we saw no outings. They were like cast with the ghost, gone, invisible. We didn't see nobody but him. Okay, so unless he got some invisible 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 people around him uh that's a problem too okay? and that's mental health this is mental health month we need to pay attention to what he's saying that we aren't seeing okay what realm of living is he living in that we can't see what is what Porsche. okay push your boys okay and then we have number six reason uh what do or what does his credit score look like now, you know, we got to always look at the credit score because sometimes we need credit for some things we want in this world that money just don't add up to, you know, to help out with the situation. Because sometimes your money got to be in the bank to just draw interest and they don't want to see you spend it. They want to see it just grow, grow, grow. So what what does he actually do for you? What's, um, you know, what is his credit score looking like? I think it's a thousand now. It was a good credit score. It was 800 and something, I believe. And it went to 950 or 970. And I think it's about. Okay, so where is he sitting at? Or is that still invisible as well? Along with his verification on all his social media platforms. He can't get that uh blue check. And I heard, I think, um, on Instagram, you can pay to get a blue check on your Instagram, but you have to pay $2,000. Y'all know about that, fam? Y'all heard anything about that? Because I just recently heard that. I'm just trying to check to see was it true. Because that will be a way... Um, all the time, you could get your blue check, just drop down two thousand dollars and go on about your business, okay? Because we all side eye you, see, we're gonna fail the side eye you until we see you in the office with a group of people doing work for you. You know, somebody's you know receiving the customers when they come in, want to sign up, want to be a part of your company. We need to see your HR uh, people, we need to see the receptionists, we need to see at least four or five people sitting at a desk answering telephones or making phone calls with computers. You see what I'm saying? Headsets to boot. We want to see them all in action. Then we want to go see where your office at and see where the engine runs. You see what I'm saying? You're the captain of your fate. You're the captain of your ship. You're the captain of your income. We want to see. But yet we have nothing to see. We have nothing to see. And I kind of stopped at seven because it wasn't no sense of keep having it drawn on out of all the negativeness we got. Yeah. She can is a boss over there. Yes, she she gets her bag anywhere she can, Lord. That's a whole as I tell you. Hopefully she hadn't went to the illuminated side, but I think she has. We'll just keep prayers out for her. But she comes with getting stuff here, there, and everywhere. She's out there just like a billboard. Every time you turn around, you see candy. Every time you look to the west, you see candy. To the east, you see candy. To the west, you see candy. To the north, to the south, to the east, and the west. You see what I'm saying? It's all a mess. But Candy be grabbing that bag up. And she's getting haters along the way. And one she's sleeping with, which is her husband, Todd Tucker. I think he just needs to have therapy and work out his issues, okay? As a woman, doing better than him and showing improvement and everybody loving her for that. And he, he just seems, you know, it, it just the, the jealousness is just out of place. It shouldn't be in his spirit. It shouldn't be in their marriage. And hopefully if he go on, can it enlist him in some counseling, some individual counseling? And um, of course, you might need to put yourself in Simon in some counseling too because he's running around here with a golf club and a suit, but yet we have yet to see him work, okay? Yet to have a conference call with people sitting around. You know what I'm saying? Even though we're doing the uh, Zoom and the conference calls via, um, we call it computer. 
sometimes we need to see some get you know we need to see people in masks sitting at the desk and faces okay faces trying to make deals trying to grow trying to expand his company's portfolio but yet we don't know anything we don't the only thing we've seen was him showing us in the parking lot his gas trucks we ain't seen no employees driving those trucks nothing okay it's almost like a dummy shell of a company if you get my drift <laughs> where illegal things can be funneled through but you didn't hear that from me all of us are legend all right but that's all i have for this video guys like and love gotta have more and you know i'll be back i'm on a road i told you i was making videos putting them out so hopefully i could do a week's work <laughs> and then i can just sit back and enjoy you all's commentary because y'all be tripping me out y'all talking about i'm funny as hell hey y'all be cracking me up <laughs> Y'all be getting to the point to the nitty gritty and then add your own sauce to it. And I'm like, that's a meal right now. That's a full fledged bon bon fide meal. All right, so I love to see y'all playing nice in the sandbox with one another and giving out true tea. If you have any stories you want to uh, see if I can do for you all, look into and get my spell on it. Put it down in the comment section. I'll be listening to y'all. I shall do. And for one of my family members, I forgot her name. Uh, she wanted me to do an intro with um, Mary J. Blige. Damn, what was up? No, Nicki Minaj. <laughs> you see how I got that messed up real quick? And just I freaking read it. Just read it. But um, I just got this intro, and sometimes the people that you're messing with, it costs money. And it was like 50 something dollars she charged me. Uh, and I, I like, you know, I just got it, so I'm gonna be doing that for a while. And, you know, maybe around Christmas time, I might switch it up, switch it out. But, uh, no, sometimes these things be expensive that you be trying to hook up with people. Because, you know, I'm like, if you like their brand, don't go, don't go to them and ask for no discount. Because <laughs> they like, you poor baby. When you got the money, you come back to me. That's what they be trying to say. And I don't even want them to say that to me, okay? So, I really do business like that. Whatever they quote, uh, if I come back routinely to them, you know, I should get a discount for being a favorite customer. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. That's something to think about. And I probably would do it, but just not right now. Okay. All right. And um, we're going to say bye-bye to Portia because we don't want to look at her trying to birth any more children up in this world without a husband. Okay. Without a husband. Because if she played her cards right, she should have signed that pre and went on about her business with Dennis. Okay. I don't know how long they would have stayed married because, like I said, he's a womanizer and he does like the women, okay? But she knew that before she even tried to not protect herself. Okay, you can depend on a man to protect themselves. You do your due diligence. You protect yourself. Get them condoms. Get them the spermicide. Get all that shit. So nothing going to come off that trap, okay? But we knew we knew what level you was on. We, we know your frame of mind and what you was thinking you were going to do. You did it. You implemented it. And boom, there go baby girl. And he's going to take care of baby girl. He loves baby girl. That's his first child. So, of course, you're going to love and uh, solidify yourself to her well-being. But uh, you're trying to have a baby with Simon. You see how his other three wives are not treating him right because he's not treating them right. You see what I'm saying? And then he wants his children whenever he thinks he can get them. Child, please. Uh-uh. Don't want to hear it. Don't want to hear it, Portia. Get down in your grind. Get your jobs back. And you go on and be great, even if it's by yourself. And you just got to bang money. Because I don't know about this marriage thing in you. Because you're not right. You're not right in the head. You need to go on and get some more therapy. And do a plan of action for what you want to see. And stop looking at people's uh, money in their bank accounts and their wallets. Stop doing that. Spend your own money. It's good. You work hard. You treat yourself hard. I mean, you treat yourself well, and you, uh, that's like you play hard, you can vacation hard, okay? You can relax hard, but it's got to be up to you. You got to want to do things for you, yourself, okay, and your family, okay? Not depending on the man to make it happen for you, all right? Get your own Porsche. You got brains up there. Shit, you came up with sheets by pamper Porsche, or Porsche sheets, by, whatever it is, you know, she's selling linen, okay? But, uh, yeah, you got that gold naked hair that you definitely love flossing. And showing out to folks, market yourself, Portia. Market yourself, market yourself. All right, Candy's older than you, and she's doing the darn thing still. So get with it, baby. Get with it. And I'll see y'all next video.